Now this is ordinary today function in Excel and this function is volatile. Volatile means that this function will recalculate itself uh, really often. So if we change anything in this uh, spreadsheet, if we change the name of a sheet, if we uh, insert a new row, if we delete a row, uh, this function will recalculate itself. And if we have many cells that refer to this uh, cell A2, our Excel file will become really slow and that could be a problem. So we want to find a replacement for this Excel Today function that is not volatile. One solution is to use a user-defined function made in VBA and this is an example of such a function. It's a really simple function that is using VBA date uh, function to return a current date and the user now just have to uh, type equal then the name of our uh, VBA function function and uh, brackets and uh, he will get as a result uh, current date. Uh, now <clears throat> this uh, uh, function will recalculate itself only when we open the file. Uh, if we click on calculate now or, or if we use shortcut F9 uh, this uh, function will not uh, recalculate itself and this could be important if we work somewhere about midnight. So if midnight passes uh, this uh, cell will not recalculate itself. Uh, this is basically a function that will only recalculate when we open the file. So we want to force uh, recalculation if we are working um, during the midnight. In that case we have to type uh, to press F2 and then we have to press enter uh, to enter and exit the cell and in this way we can uh, force uh, recalculation. Other possible solution is to use power query we want to create a query that will return this table with uh, current uh, date. Let's see the code. So this is a code for our uh, table. We are just making uh, one table with one column. That column has a name of uh, PQ today and it is of a uh, date type. Uh, here we have a function that will return current uh, date and time and we will wrap uh, that function with uh, date time date to um, get only date part of uh, that result. And the final result is th uh, this table. And we will load that table instead of our uh, spreadsheet. Now we have to ensure that this uh, query is recalculated each time we open our uh, file. For that we have an option. So we go to data, queries and connections. This is our um, uh, query. We right click on it, we go to properties and we uh, check this option, refresh data when opening the file. Now this uh, query will refresh itself each time we open the file. If we want to enforce um, recalculation, we have just to use the uh, ordinary refresh uh, button. So if we work somewhere about midnight, uh, we can use this button to uh, get a new value. Now <clears throat> VBA solution and Power Query solution will work correctly on our computer, but if our file is uh, online in Office 365, uh, both VBA and Power Query will not work. In that case, we have to use uh, Power Automate. Now we can combine Power Automate and Power Query uh, solution so that we both of them um, refresh only this cell A3. So they refresh the same uh, cell and this is a good solution because um, updating of this uh, cell will work both online and uh, offline. Now for this we have to change a little bit our query. I'm going to copy this uh, code here and to change our existing Power Query uh, code. There are not so many uh, changes in the code. I'm going to paste a new code uh, here below. And as we can see the only change is that we are adding one more column. It is a column of text type uh, with uh, the name key and in that uh, column there, there will be only one word and that is PA date. So I'm going to delete all code. I'll click on uh, done and this is our uh, result. So we have one uh, new column. I'm going to close this. So our table here will also uh, refresh. And now we have uh, both um, columns here. Now this column is actually the primary key column. Uh, we have to say uh, uh, to Power uh, Automate in which row to uh, change the values. And here we are going to use this word PA date to identify this row. So Power Automate will uh, change values only in this row. That is it will change value only in this 
uh, column because it is uh, the only one column beside a primary key column that exists. So both Power Query and Power Automate will uh, update uh, this uh, cell and now we have to uh, see how to uh, create that uh, Power Automate flow. Uh, we are now in Power Automate. I already placed my Excel file uh, on uh, OneDrive. Now we click on Create and then on uh, Schedule Cloud Flow. In this dialog I will give our flow a name. I'm going to use Today Replacement. Uh, this is the date when our flow will, flow will uh, start to work and I will uh, make it work each day at 12.15 uh, uh, a.m. and our flow will repeat itself every uh, day. And then we click on create and now we can see a diagram view and here is our uh, first step. I'm going to click on it on edit and then I'll show advanced options because I want to select one more thing, I want to select my uh, time zone and I'm going to choose uh, this time zone. And uh, this is just a schedule, it will start our uh, flow at this time every day, but we have to declare uh, what our action will be. So I click on a uh, new step and I'm going to select an option update a row. Uh, this is it, I'm going to click on it and now we have uh, our both uh, steps. Now in this uh, second step I'm going to choose uh, my file. So first I have to uh, declare that I want to go to OneDrive for Business. I want to go to OneDrive Document Library. Uh, I'm going to select my file. This is it. Uh, the name of my table is Picky Today. Now this uh, name is actually the name of this uh, table. And then I'm going to say that my uh, key column is actually column named key. And I'm looking for the uh, word uh, PA date. And uh, in this uh, text box I have to uh, write the value that will be written uh, to this cell uh, B3. Now that value will be uh, decided by uh, this formula. I'm going to place this formula here. And this formula is using uh, UTC uh, now function to uh, get uh, current uh, time. I will uh, declare that I want the time for uh, this uh, time zone and I'm going to uh, format uh, that uh, time in this uh, format. Now I can click on save because our uh, flow is uh, complete. We can test our flow by clicking on uh, test manually and then on test and then round flow. We can click on done and uh, now we can see that our uh, flow succeeded. Uh, this means that we uh, successfully changed uh, the value in uh, the cell uh, B3 in the file that is uh, placed on uh, OneDrive.